Welcome to another video broadcast of Master Investors Community. In today's episode, the topic of the blog is what is financial independence? And it comes down to three different things. I'm going to keep it simple, but sweet for you to understand what it takes to get rich for free, legally, right? And so through financial education, it's all about being able to acquire assets that cash flow with OPM, other people's money, whether it's a private investor, whether it's a private institution, whether it's a big bank, whoever is the resource of the money that we're raising, we are going to allocate that money into acquiring an asset that cash flows. And ultimately, financial independence comes from those assets exceeding our living expenses. So what do we do in order to reach financial independence? Well, simple. We do it in three steps. Number one is we buy and acquire assets. Hopefully, we're doing it with the bank's money, with debt. Why? Because debt is tax-free and it's money. And so even if we acquire a loan from a private investor and ultimately we go back to the bank to get a loan to pay that investor back, it's tax-free to the investor and also to the bank. And so using debt, good debt, is genius when it comes to building true wealth. And that's what we're going to show you here at Master Investors Community is that Financial education, the highest financial IQ, is all about using OPM, other people's money, OPT, other people's time, and learning how to build our asset column and knowing exactly what are living expenses once the cash flow from the assets that we are acquiring in our asset column exceeds our living expenses, then we have reached financial independence. And um, the third thing is, once that cash flow is equal or greater than our monthly living expenses, that we are financially free and we can truly continue to grow our asset column and the assets are working for us. We're not trading time for money, so we have to understand the three types of income that exist is earned income, which is trading time for money when someone has a job and you work 40 hours and you get a paycheck for those 40 hours. That is earn income or active income. You have to be there, uh, otherwise you don't get paid. The next type of income that exists in the money world is portfolio income. And this type of income is of course better than earned income, but it is by exchanging, instead of exchanging time for money, portfolio income is made through capital gains. And such are tax at a higher bracket than the true income of the ultra wealthy, which is the third type of income, is passive income. And it's taxed at the lowest tax bracket. In fact, if we do it correctly with debt and we learn how to raise capital because we have a true asset that we can present to the investor or the bank and we can show them the value that we can add to it or the value that exists in the asset currently, and we can acquire that loan and pay that monthly mortgage back from the renters or from the tenant um, or the customers of that business, then we will ultimately pay zero in taxes legally if we get the right tax advisor, the right team to manage and help us um, increase value in our investment or asset that we acquire. So I'm going to leave the link of the blog that I wrote about what is financial independence so you have a better idea, it's less than 10 minutes read. Leave us a comment below if you like this information. Join our community. Check out our digital courses at www.masterinvestor.education. And remember, there's two types of debt, good debt and bad debt. Good debt puts money in our pocket, bad debt takes money out of our pocket. Good debt gets paid from somebody else's efforts and time and money and bad day gets paid with our own money, with our own hard and earned money. In other words, if you are paying for your mortgage because you have to go to work every day and exchange that time to pay for that debt, that is considered bad debt. 
So know the difference between an asset liability will help you reach financial independence and understand what is to be um, financially free. Okay, with that being said, I'll see you on the next episode and make sure you hit the links below. Check us out on our podcast as well. And uh, if you have any questions, drop it below. Bye for now.